Okay, just want to give you a little update on what I've been doing health-wise. Obviously, health is something I want to discuss much more in this one particular channel because I think it's important, and that's important psychologically, emotionally, intellectually, you know, just like in every possible way of trying to be the best you can be and trying to drive out negativity from yourself. And I mentioned diatomaceous earth, which I've been taking more seriously recently as a treatment for uh, my candida and any other digestive problems I, I may seem to have and any other digestive infection I may seem to have picked up over uh, the years of playing with a cat or whatever it is. And the first thing I'll say is that it's been about, well, about a week or slightly over a week now since I've been using diatomaceous earth. I had this one day in which I suddenly felt a lot more warmth flowing through my left leg and my left arm and I realized that the blood flow had improved. All right, so something that I'm doing is dramatically improve, improving my ability to have a good circulation after about a week of using diatomaceous earth, taking it two or three times a day, one heaping uh, dessert spoon suspended in water. And of course, I used the tincture previously, the tincture containing wormwood, black walnut hull and clove, uh, which was supposed to be good for getting rid of pathogens in the guts anyway. And I used that for about two weeks prior to getting myself onto the diatomaceous earth, which is what you see here. The level in the pot has gone down quite a lot, as you can see, because I've been dipping into it on quite a regular basis, and I've got more in my cupboard. Now, I've also been thinking that maybe some of my previous ideas about some alternative health ideas weren't, was in fact incorrect. Because I am someone who does spiritual healing exercises and all the rest of that kind of stuff just to see, you know, what happens and it does seem to improve my health when I do meditation on my digestive system. Uh, you know, forcing things to go down and through, focusing on, on energy going down from my head down to my feet because that's an idea which just seems to help with bad digestion. It just does, does seem to work. So if I'm doing, um, you know, psychosomatic meditation for health and I do spiritual healing type exercises, why on earth have I had a bit of an issue with the idea behind this type of device? Uh, this is a, as you can see it says on it, it's a Zappo, it's an electronic device which produces a, uh, a frequency, low voltage uh, frequency, low, you know, low power frequency through copper hand grips you put a wet paper towel around it and hold on to it one in each hand and the belief with the zapper is that it helps to kill things in the body now I don't know how true it is but I have downloaded a copper copy of the Hulda Clark book the cure for all ills which I'm reading with a skeptical eye but I'm definitely reading the thing because I'm thinking that maybe there is they obviously you know I'm the kind of person who has who has questions not answers so I've got questions about this thing so why haven't I bought myself one why haven't I experimented on myself why aren't I using it on a regular basis just to see what the hell happens okay so this is what I've done because I can't just turn around and be too dismissive about something which might possibly have some positive health benefits I'm not turning around to you and say do this it'll cure you of all diseases because I don't think that that's the right message for anything but some of the attitudes I've read so far in the Hold the Clock book is in fact quite interesting in the fact that it just seems to be talking generally about wellness in particular and adding the um, electrical aspect to the whole thing uh, as part of a treatment plan. So at the moment what I'm doing for myself is diatomaceous earth using this thing um, each night uh, which is a seven minute session followed by a break of 20 minutes followed by another seven minute session another break of 20 minutes and another uh, seven minute session and then see what the hell happens this is a two frequency device so I can change between one and the other frequencies by pressing the button in and that's connected to some form of thesis related to how um, electricity can help to kill off bacteria funguses, parasites and all kinds of other stuff uh, so, the diatomaceous earth is the one that I've got most uh, faith in at the moment because, you know, it's, it's given to cattle to kill off any pathogens inside a cattle's digestive system. It's given to horses, it's given to pets. Um, so if it can be used on animals, maybe it can also be used on humans because, funnily enough, da -da, you know, humans are just animals. Alright, we're animals with iPhones, but we're still just animals. 
This thing I'm much more skeptical of, but what the hell, if it's only taken me like seven minutes in the evening just holding onto the handles once I've covered it with a wet paper towel to increase the conductivity, and the only other bit of time it would take is to clean off any debris which is on the copper from the um, electrolysis effects, then fine, you know, I'll, I'll give it a go, because, you know, basically why not? You know, I haven't had major massive health experiences, positive health experiences yet as a result of it, but I haven't had anything negative. But when you do use it, uh, you can feel the the high frequency electrical signal going through your body. That much I can tell you. So, so there's something happening there. But I did have one experience with um, a thing behind my eye, and I'm quite uncomfortable talking about it, but I'll tell you about it anyway. I mean, one of the reasons I got back to using the tincture and diatomaceous circles because um, you know the cat got worms I wanted to protect myself so I started taking the tincture during taking the tincture something um, not only came out of my backside in the, in the lavatory bowl but also something came out of my right eye socket um, once I'd stopped using the tincture and I then went on to the diatomaceous earth um, as I say nearly a week later uh, the sensation behind my eyeball stopped and instead I got this like cloudiness over my right eye almost as if there was some mucky water that was put in my right eye or you know something was getting in the way of my vision somehow or alternatively as if there was a parasite behind my eyeball which has now gone splat because the diatomaceous earth has gone through my circulation and has cut it up And so there's something which is, you know, has died and therefore my body's had to deal with the poisons and toxins which came from something dying. Maybe that's the case. Could this have had something to do with it as well because I was doing this alongside? I don't know. I think it would make a lot more, a lot of sense that, yeah, the diatomaceous earth has done something, um, not just in the digestive system, but in other areas of the body itself. So these are some ideas. I'm not turning around to you and saying that I'm totally sure, I'm totally sold on all this stuff because that would be stupid and rather sort of like, well, just plain moronic really. Um, because there, you know, there's too many factors which affect the human body anyway. There's too many factors which can affect what's in your body. We all have positive, healthy, friendly things growing in our body anyway. So that's um, something else you have to be aware of. But there's also negative, unpleasant, unfriendly things growing in our bodies as well, which could be contributing to some forms of chronic health problems, which, you know, we as humans need to therefore be aware of and to periodically or continually, perpetually have something in our life which we can use to reduce the negatives so we can then increase the positives and start to generate more in the way of health. Uh, so that's what I'm talking about today. I will talk about other things in subsequent videos because this is partially my journey towards health and it's also something which or, or is let's just say a way of thinking which I think that other people like yourself uh, might actually need to develop an understanding of for the passage of time so there you go that's where I am right now stay healthy keep cool don't believe too much shit and be excellent to one another.